All right, welcome to uh, the next sequence of videos, which I'm gonna cover in two different videos, uh, how to get the photos for your very first uh, photo assignment, which is the nature's photos, how to get the photos from your, your device to your computer and then import those to Lightroom. So we've kind of walked through all those separately. I'm gonna do it together now. So I'm gonna create a video for phones and this is gonna be that video and I'll have a separate video for how to do this process with cameras. All right, so let's get started with the phones. Uh, on phones, remember what we're doing is we're using the Google Photos app as our bridge, as the software that's gonna take the photos from our phones and then synchronize it to Google's web servers out in the cloud, wherever that is. And then uh, we'll go to the computer and then we will uh, grab those photos, download them to the computer and then import them to Lightroom. So that's what I'm gonna show you. So let's start with Google Photos. I have the Google Photos app running here and um, it can see the photos from my uh, camera roll. And uh, I took a bunch of photos yesterday of nature things and you'll see them here. So um, a couple ways to select these photos easily. Um, if you just want all the photos on a given day, just do a long tap on the day's name. So I just tapped right by yesterday and now all the photos have a blue check. Um, sometimes it's faster, um, like let's say I wanted everything but one or two photos from this. Maybe I don't want uh, that one, so I'm just gonna tap on that uh, one to turn it off. Or if there's some other ones I wanted down here, again, I could scroll down and maybe add another photo. So now I have a total of 42 photos in the top left. Google's keeping count for me. Remember for this assignment, you want at least 20 photos. Uh, it's always good to have some extras. You'll see I have multiple photos of the same thing. That's to make sure they're sharp. <laughs> so um, yeah, so we've got our photos uh, selected uh, on Google Photos. Our next step is to tap on the uh, three dots near the top right. Uh, and you're gonna tap on that once and you'll bring up uh, option at the bottom of your screen and the option you want is backup. So tap on that and depending on the speed of your interwebs connection, uh, this will move pretty quickly. Uh, mine's moving right along here. So while it's doing that, let's go over to the computer and we will go ahead and um, so while it's doing its downloading, let's head over to the computer and go to the get ready to go to Google Photos website. So don't go there until the upload is complete. If you do, you have to reload the page so it sees all the photos. So, um, so I'm gonna go to, in my web browser, I'm using the Chrome browser here, photos.google.com. And now I should see exactly those same photos that I saw uh, that I just synchronized from my phone. If you don't see them, uh, make sure this is complete, the upload is complete, the synchronization. Also, uh, try the, re the, um, the reload, which is the little icon to the left of the page uh, address bar. All right, now this is easy. I just gotta get these photos from here. This is in the servers on, in the cloud on the internet, back to my computer. So they were on my phone, now they're on my phone and Google's website. Now I gotta get them from Google's website to my computer, easy. First step is to select the photos I want. Um, all the photos for uh, that I want were in yesterday, so I can just click quickly, click on the check, the gray check that's to the left of the word yesterday, and that will select all those photos. If there's individual photos here you want, uh, go ahead and select them individually. I'm gonna go ahead and add this one because I think I added it earlier. Um, um, this is not, let me be clear, if you took a photo for this assignment, import it. Go ahead and download it now. For example, I have two or three photos of a couple of things and they all look very, very similar. You can't tell at this magnification, this detail level, which is the better one, which is maybe sharper, more in focus, where everything lines up. So go ahead and import all of them. Import all the photos you uh, you, you uh, created for this assignment, okay? All right, so I have them all selected. The blue circle dot uh, lets me know that they're selected. I see 42, which is the same number I had from here. 
So I'm gonna go ahead and click on the uh, More Options 3 vertical dots on the right-hand side near the top of the Chrome window. And I want to download these. So I'm gonna click on Download. Uh, one is processing. So uh, here's what the one that's processing. Um, there's a photo of, of my son's dog, and it's a. It's I made the mistake and accidentally turned on live view on my iPhoto. Uh, so um, my photo app, I mean. So that means it's a video, and this is why you don't want that <laughs> because it takes forever to upload, download, synchronize. So I'm just going to go ahead and download the 41. So again, remember it's not live view. It's called live photo. Turn that off on your phones iPhones, unless you like waiting. All right, so I'm downloading now. Um, it's waiting, it's thinking. There we go, now it's started. Lower left corner, you'll see a progress wheel uh, if you're in Chrome. When that's all done, it kind of blinks at you and you're left with uh, photos.zip. Uh, if you've done this a couple times and you still saved your uh, photos folders, previous ones in your uh, downloads folder, this will have a higher number. So it'll be photos one, photos two, photos three, and so on. All right, so next step is to get those from here to my desktop. That's where I'm gonna store them for temporary just because then it makes, reminds me to le delete them when I'm done. All right, so here we go. So I'm gonna click once on photos.zip that opens the window to my computer. They are now uncompressed. So I'm gonna go ahead and drag this folder that says photos, not the photos.zip, just the blank photos, uh, not blank, the, the photo the folder without the extension name. Click, hold, drag that to my desktop to make it easy to find. All right, so that part is done. We have successfully taken the photos from your phone to Google, from Google to your computer, now computer to your desktop. Um, you could leave them in downloads, but I just think it's easier on your desktop. Uh, so our next step is to go to Lightroom Classic. So we're gonna head over there and we're gonna switch to the library module. Library module, if you're not already active in the library module, click it at the top in the module bar. And in the uh, lower left corner now, you want to click on the import button. So click on import. That will start the import process. And then in your top left corner, click where it says from and choose other source. Click where it says from and choose other source. And then I, uh, since again, I saved these on my desktop, they're super easy to find. And from my computer window, I'm just gonna click on my desktop and look for my photos folder. I'm gonna click on that and click choose. Okay. So all those photos are here now. They are organized in Lightroom. Uh, one thing, uh, well, no, you don't have to do worry about that right now. So um, here they are. So now I need to do my three-step process for instructions for Lightroom to help me organize these photos on my computer. Okay, step number one, tell Lightroom where to permanently save these photos on your computer. So you do that up in the top right-hand corner of this window where it says to, and then your computer name. So you're gonna click on that once, and the option you want is other destination. So this takes you to your computer window, and now what you're looking for is uh, the place where you stored all your original photos. I called them imports, they're on my desktop. So desktop, imports, or whatever your top level folder is that contains your photos, make a new folder inside of that for this assignment. So new folder, and this is called nature. I'm just adding the word phone because it's from my phone. I'm gonna do a separate one for my camera. So nature-phone, you can just call yours nature. And then that's now it's got a home, a permanent location on the computer for these original photos to live. That's step one. Click choose when you're done. Step two is to organize the photos in Lightroom using collections. That's handled in the file handling panel at the bottom of that. Click where it says add to collection to turn it on. 
And then on the right of that is a plus sign. Click that to actually create a new collection. And this collection will also be called the same thing as the folder on the computer, which is nature. And I'm just adding again the word phone because I'll have nature dash camera. All right, click create on that. Easy so far, right? Just organizational, just don't forget any of these things. All right, here's another one. Uh, the last step, step number three, is to give these photos actual names. You'll see that mine are called img underscore 1737.jpg and so on. Uh, that name will not help me find these photos in the future, so I need better names. So uh, in the file renaming panel, which is the next panel down on the right-hand side of Lightroom, um, Everything should be the way it was when we last, uh, when you imported photos uh, and you want rename files turned on, custom name dash sequence as your template. And then you will click in the box right below that it says custom text. You'll click on the word untitled and you'll type a new name, which is nature. Again, I'm adding dash phone because of phone and such. Reminder, you have to have names on your photos. Uh, if your photos do not have names, it's a 10 point deduction from your technical score on each assignment. So make sure you name it. It's just that easy. If you're not sure how to do it, go watch, rewatch what I just did, double check my settings, uh, watch uh, the Lightroom uh, video for class number four, Imports, where I walk through this, or send me an email or uh, see me during Zoom office hours. All right, so that's this process. We have all of our instructions made. Uh, Lightroom's got a place to store them permanently on the computer in step number one in the two part up here, to computer. A place uh, in a collection in Lightroom, which is Lightroom's photo albums. And then down here at the bottom, a real name for these photos so that they're easier to find later on. Um, so that's it. Now we just click on the import button, wait for Lightroom to uh, finish the process, uh, which takes a minute because these are raw files. Oh, no, these are JPEGs. These won't take very long. You'll notice that Lightroom is doing two processes here in the top left. Um, what it's doing is creating previews of your photos, which are just small uh, files that help Lightroom quickly show you on screen as you're working in the different um, in the different ways. So your photos are imported. Go to your uh, collections down here. Go to your nature collection. You should see your photos. The number should match. Um, you remember I didn't uh, download one because it was a live photo. So I have 41 photos here. That should be the same as your previous import. You should be good. If not, go rewatch, try it again, or uh, send me an email, see me in Zoom office hours. So that's how we get photos from phones to using the Google Photos app to Google server, then from the Google servers to the computer and import into Lightroom. It's harder to talk about it than it is to do it. <laughs> All right, let me know if you have any questions. See you in the next video.